Hello students, in this video let us continue with the problems of the exercise 2.2. See the question, the following figure shows a relationship between the sets P and Q. Write this relation, question number 1 is in set builder form, question number 2 roster form. What is its domain and range? See the figure, the figure is just a mapping is given in a diagram and this is very simple question but the only thing is representation, how to represent this and uh, let us write the solution that is the first part in set builder form. First to write in the set builder form you have to express in terms of an equation. And first you have to take the set P and Q. What is set P? It contains three elements. What are the elements? 5, 6 and 7. And similarly write the set Q. What are the elements in Q? 3, 4 and 5. Okay. Now you see the figure. 5 is mapped to 3. That is the image of 5 is 3 and image of 6 is 4. You can observe and 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. And if it is 10 and you can guess where does 10 maps. 10 maps to 8. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. In general, if x is there, and where does it will map x minus 2 and that is what we wanted to write here that is uh, the relation r is equal to x comma y such that y is equal to x minus 2 where x is in p and y is in q and this is the relation r in set builder form and uh, writing the roster form is very simple and you can write the three elements, you can observe the three elements that itself you have to write. That is the roster form is the relation R from P to Q is R is equal to the three elements are one is 5, 3, 5, comma, 3, comma, 6, comma, 4 and 7, comma, 5. This is the roster form of the representation of the given relation. Now what is the domain of this? The first set itself the domain because all the three elements have the image and all the three elements occur as the first element. Therefore, domain is 5, 6, 7 and what is the range? Second element, collection of all second elements. What are the second elements? 3, 4, 5 and this is the range of the relation. Now you take this question, let A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Let R be the relation on A. Relation on A means relation from A to A. And it is defined by R is equal to A, B given that A, B belongs to A where B is exactly divisible by A. Here you have to write the element such a way that B is exactly divisible by A. Such elements you should write. First thing you have to write R in roster form, find the domain of R and find the range of R. Here while writing you should know the elements in A cross A. A cross A will have 25 elements. And you need not write all the elements and you have to check one by one and if it is there you have to write here. Now see here the elements of R and in A cross A there are many elements. I will start with the element 1 comma 1. And 1 comma 1 is an element in A cross A. Whether this element is in R or not, you have to check. B is exactly divisible by A. What is B here? 1. Whether 1 is divisible by 1? Yes. And that's why you can write that element here. 1 comma 1 is in R. This is one element in R. Next. 1, 2 and I will replace this by 2 and what happens here? 
whether 2 is exactly divisible by 1? Yes. That is, B is exactly divisible by A. Whether 2 is divisible by 1? Yes. And it is also there. That is, 1 comma 2 is there. And uh, similarly, if it is 3, it is there. 3 is also exactly divisible by 1. 1, 3 is there. And the next element is 1, 4 is there. 1, comma 4 is there. And uh, next element is 1, comma 6. And 5 is not there in the set to A itself. That's why you have to directly jump to 1, comma 6. Because there is no 5 here in the given set. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 6 are there in R. Next you come to the element we start with the 2. And 2, 1, whether 2, 1 is there? No, because 1 is not divisible by 2. Whether 2, 2 is there? Yes, 2, 2 is there. Because 2 is exactly divisible by 2. 2, comma 2 is there. And uh, whether 2, comma 3 is there? 2, comma 3 is not there because 3 is not divisible by 2. 2, comma 4 is there. 2 comma 4 is there and 2 comma 6 is also there. 2, 6 is exactly divisible by 2. 2 comma 6 is there. Next you come to the element we start with 1. 3 1 is not there. 3 2 is not there. But 3 3 is there. 3 comma 3 is there. And next 3 4 is not there. 3 6 is there. Because 6 is exactly divisible by 3. 3 6 is there. Next element is 4. 4, 1 is not there because 1 is not exactly divisible by 4. 1 and 2 is not exactly divisible by 4. 3 is also not divisible by 4. But 4 is exactly divisible by 4. Therefore, the first element which start with 4 is 4, 4. And the next multiple of 4 is 8. And then now there is no 8 and hence this is the only one element with the start with the 4. And such that B is exactly divisible by A. Next you take the element 6 and if you take 6 there is only one element that is 6 comma 6 and these are the elements in the relation R and uh, this is the method of writing the elements of this relation. Now we have to write the domain and range to write the domain and the, what are the first element and you can observe 1, 2, 3. 4, 6, all the elements occurs as a first element and therefore the domain is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and uh, what is the range 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, all elements occur as a second element therefore range is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Now you take this question, determine the domain and range of the relation R defined by R is equal to x comma x plus y where x belongs to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here you have to write the elements of R just by substituting the values of x. You can write the elements of R like this. So here if you put x equal to 0, what you will get? If you put x equal to 0 and you will get the second element is 0 plus 5. What is 0 plus 5? 0, 5. This is one element. Put x equal to 1. You have to put the values of x in from this set. x equal to 1. If you put x equal to 1, you will have 6. 1 comma 6. x equal to 2. And if you put x equal to 2, you will have 7. And next element is x equal to 3. If you put x equal to 3, you will have 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. And x equal to 4 x equal to 4 means 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 and the last element is x equal to 5 put x equal to 5 you will have 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 here you have to put the value of x to write the second element of the relation r and you will get this set and this is the relation r now what is the domain here collection of all first elements what are the first elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and that is the domain and what is the range? Range is second element 
that is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and uh, you can write this 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is the range of this relation. Now you see this question, write the relation R is equal to x, comma x cube where x is a prime number less than 10. Here you have to write the prime numbers less than 10. What are the prime numbers less than 10? 2, 3, 5, 7. These are the four prime numbers less than 10. And you have to write the relation R in the roster form. And what are the elements of R? See here, you have to write the x here. What is x here? 2. I will start with 2 because 2 is the least prime number. 2 comma 2 cube. What is 2 cube? 8. This is one element. Next element is 3. What is 3 cube? 27. 3 comma 27. And the next is 5. What is 5 cube? 5 cube is 125. And uh, the last element is 7. These are the 4 prime numbers less than 10. 7. And what is 7 cube? The seven curve is 243. This is 49 into 7. 49 into 7 is equal to 243. And 243, this is the four elements in the relation R. Now, next question is let A is equal to x comma y comma z and B is equal to 1 comma 2. Find the number of relation from A to B. This is again one or two mark question. It is very simple. And here what is the number of elements in A? N of A is equal to 3. And what is number of element in B? N of B is equal to 2. And you can find the N of A cross B. N of A cross B is equal to what is the formula? N of A into N of B is equal to 3 into 2 that is equal to 6. And to write the number of relation from A to B, it is number of all subsets of A cross B. And how many subsets will be there for A cross B? And you know that if the set is having n elements and total number of subsets of A is 2 power n, 2 raised to n. Here it is number of relation from A to B is 2 to the power 6 and that is equal to 64. And see the last question. Let R be the relation on Z defined by R is equal to A comma B given that A comma B belongs to Z and A minus B is an integer. Find the domain and range of R. If A and B are any integer, you know that A minus B is always an integer. A minus B always integer because if you take 3 minus 7, what is 3 minus 7 is equal to minus 4 and which is an integer. And if you subtract two integers, you will get always an integer. Therefore, all the elements in Z cross Z are also in R. Therefore, you can write the domain. The domain is complete set to Z. What is the domain? Domain is Z and range is also Z. And this completes exercise. And I will continue with the next concept that is function in the next video. Thank you.